Hey guys, um, today we're going to finish, I always look at my packet. Um, today we're going to finish the acid base packet. Um, but before we do, I wanted to talk about a mistake I made in one of the videos. Um, a few people pointed out to me. Um, so back on page seven in your packet, question one says, unlike an acid, an aqueous solution of base, I'm pretty sure I told you it was C. Um, contains more H plus because I read it incorrectly. Um, an aqueous solution of base has more OH than H plus. So if you guys tried that on your own and realized um, I said something wrong, thank you for pointing that out. Okay, so now we're gonna hop on back to page 10. We're gonna do some math today. So you will need a calculator. So why don't you take a minute and go grab a calculator while I get to the correct page. Okay, so, um, oh, one more thing I wanted to point out while I was grading your pH homework. Um, we'll just do it right here. So, Let's say we have a pH of uh, five and it goes down to three. So when you have two spaces, that's actually 10 times in each space. So two spaces means it's 10 times 10. So it's 100 times different. And when the pH gets lower, it's 100 times stronger. Um, same thing if you are given something else like if it's 10,000 times weaker, let's say we started at five. So the number of zeros tells you how many spaces to move on the pH scale. So that means four spaces. So it goes from five to nine because it's getting weaker. Okay, all right. So I hope you have your calculator handy or I suppose you can use your phone. Um, Titration, the technique to um, neutralize an unknown acid or base with a known acid or base will let us find out the unknown concentration, basically. So um, this formula is on the back of your reference table under titration. And it's the same formula that we used for dilution, except instead of ones and twos, it's A's and B's. So the equation is MAVA uh, equals MBVB. Okay, so MA is molarity of acid. BA equals volume of acid. Oh my gosh, mess. Okay, MB equals molarity of your base. And VB equals volume of base. Okay, so let's do the example problem together. Um, a sample of 50 milliliters of 0.45 molar HBr. So I'm going to stop right here and I would ask, is this an acid or a base? So it begins with H, so that indicates you have an acid. So this is your MA and this is your VA. We'll neutralize 89 milliliters of KOH. So that's your base because it has OH and this is your VB. And they ask, what is the concentration of KOH? So when they ask for concentration, they're talking about molarity. Um, so here it's just a plug and chug question. So you're going to plug in the molarity of acid, 0 0.45 times the volume of acid, 50, equals, we don't know molarity of the base, but we do know, we don't, do know the volume. So 0.45 times 50 equals X times 89. You're gonna divide both sides by 89. 
and you get X equals 0 0.25 molar, capital M. Okay, um, so why don't you guys practice questions one through four. So take a minute, push pause and do one through four. And then when you come back, um, I'll go over the answers. Okay, so I just paused that as well so I can fill in the answers. So basically, you're just going to go through and identify are they acids and bases, and do you have what are you missing? Um, so the first set of numbers you get go with the base 10 mils is your BB, MB is 0 0.75, um, and then over on the side, you're given your BA, so you're solving for MA. So X times 50 equals 0 0.75 times 10. Divide both sides by 50 and you get 0 0.15 molar. Okay, number two, um, 60 mils of 0.6 molar HF. So HF is the acid. So this goes 0 0.6 times 60 equals, we're solving for MB, X times 100. Um, divide both sides by 100 and you get 0 0.36 molar. And then the last one, 25 mils of 1.2 molar HCl is the acid. So 1.2 times 25 equals 50 times x, and then divide both sides by 50 and you get x equals 0 0.6 molar. Okay, so you might have had some questions on number four. So this is data that you would actually see um, if you were doing a lab. So when we do our virtual lab on this, um, you will see a data table like this. Um, so it says a student titrates an unknown concentration of HCl. So that means we do not know MA. With 0 0.1 molar solution of NaOH. So there's your MB. So sometimes people don't read the top part um, and then you'll miss the MB. Okay, so what is the molarity of the unknown acid solution? So one thing I want you guys to look at is they give you an initial volume and a final volume for both the acid and the NUH. So you really need to find the total volume that was used. So um, when they look at the burette, it starts at zero and it goes down to 50. So that's why it's saying that the initial volume is zero and then gets bigger. So basically, you're just going to subtract final minus initial, and you get 17.5. And do the same thing for this one, 10.0. And then plug in what you know. So we don't know MA. VA is 17.5. MB is 0 0.1, right here. And VB is 10. And so when you solve for that, you get X equals 0 0.06 molar. Okay, so now I'd like you guys to push pause and try the next page. These are um, multiple choice questions and then a sample part two question. Okay, so on the last page, the first question says, which equation represents a neutralization reaction? So remember, a neutralization reaction is acid plus base makes a salt plus water. So basically, you just look for that format. So since letter A does not make water, neither does letter B, this one does, and it has an acid, but that's not what we're looking for. Um, the last one is acid, base, salt, and water. Okay. Number two, which compound reacts with an acid to form a salt and water? Acid plus base makes salt and water. So you want to get one that ends in OH. So these two end in OH, but this one ends in COOH, which is an organic acid. You could also use um, table, I think, K and L, and find that that's the only one that's a base. 
Okay, three. How many milliliters of five molar NaOH are needed to neutralize 20 mils of two molar HCl? So this is MABA equals MBBB. So two times 20 equals 5x. So 40 equals 5x. X equals 8. And then the next one is the same thing. How many milliliters? This is VA. Uh, MA are required to completely neutralize that. So 0 0.4 times X equals 0 0.16 times 200. And I got 80. Okay, and then on the last one, um, you are going to do the same thing, but they give you a data table. So you're going to finish the data table. So to figure out the volume used, it's final minus initial. So on the first one, I got 15.40. On this one, I got 22.10. Um, okay, so that's letter A. Uh, letter B, what is the molarity of the KOH solution? So MAVA equals MB. BB, you might be looking around for MA. It's up in the little description of the problem. So 1.4 times VA, 15.4 equals X times 22.1. Um, X equals 0 0.98 molar. What could a student do to improve the accuracy of this experiment? I would just write multiple trials but you might have some other ideas. Okay, and that's it. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick like check for understanding, just maybe two titration problems, um, because I want you to do that before you do the lab, which is going to assume that you know how to do that, okay? And that's it for today. And that'll just be graded on completion. All right, talk to you later, bye.